Hello, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, yeah, let's do this convoy battle. Scharnhorst, once again. Uh, finished repairing. And the Irene. Protecting nine transports from the Tiger. A uh, cruiser and a couple of DDs. So let's go. I'm uh, just going to have the Irene follow the Scharnhorst. It is evening. So it's going to be night soon. Mm, but the weather is uh, pretty nice. So hopefully we should be able to spot those um, DDs before they get close enough to uh, launch torpedoes. That a battle cruiser? Did it get that close before being spotted? That must be the heavy cruiser. Take it out first. Uh, no, we were not able to spot those uh, DDs before they got close enough to launch. That's the one that launched. Oh, you have rudder damage. That's a dud torpedo, that's lucky. Okay, that's one DD dead. Almost reloaded. Uh, Irene, just go away. So I'm 
good floating hits on that heavy cruiser. Now let's deal with the battle cruiser first. So uh, that should be the end of her. That should be the end of her. <clears throat> All right, convoy got away. We took some damage, though. Well, that was um, unfortunate, but. Um, yeah, safe to say we came out on top. Now, loading back into the campaign map. Uh, this naval invasion is going to end next turn. Mm. Which might very possibly end our war with the British Empire. But as I mentioned, I don't really want it to end just yet. Start uh, one more. Eastern England only needs 25,000 tons. So that's going to pop up here somewhere. Uh, here somewhere next turn. So this fleet can just move down there and uh, start invading Eastern Inland, England. Which... Uh, might not work, but as long as we keep an invasion active, uh, we should be able to keep the war going, which is the entire point. Mm, yeah, uh, the GDP is still growing, but kind of slowly compared to most uh, other nations. Uh, it's not possible to improve any relations uh, now, this turn. Yeah, let's just uh, head on to April and see what happens. We got um, Shetland. All right, all right. Yeah, thirty thousand tons, six turns. These guys down here. Yep, 
yeah, it's not really a very important little island, but it's uh, it's something. Uh, yeah, my submarines are commissioning because they just finished this turn. No battles, though. Naval communications. What are we getting here? Uh, just some decent, uh, decent bonuses, and that was the uh, the reload time improvement. Better torpedo range with uh, better um, better speed. That's a welcome little uh, improvement for sure. Can I now improve? Uh, let's try improve relations with uh, with Austria. See if we can get a proper alliance uh, that does not involve me just paying them off to be my friend. This is gonna take a few more turns. And I'm still just uh, waiting for whoever is the army uh, commander here to, to realize he can just uh, march into Wei Highway and take it. Yeah. Okay, another bulwark class battleship and uh, a couple of DDs. It is evening. Uh, generally, my battle cruisers are uh, superior to the Bulwark class, but they're not really to be taken lightly. Their main advantage is, of course, the spotting distance. Which is partially down to my tower spotting being bad and uh, the target profile of this uh, battlecruiser class being even worse. the torpedoes. There's one DD dead. Okay, 
this guy still has torpedoes. But I think it's gonna sink. Yeah. No, just about to ship. There we go. Very good first hits. Having a veteran crew is a pretty uh, pretty nice advantage. Ninety percent accuracy, basically. There you go, that's the last bit of flooding. Nice. Very nice. Warship trade. Yes, you can buy two cruisers. You can buy one battle cruiser. Tra no, you can't, because uh, that's the trade error. It really is annoying, that error. Should be coincidence four that I'm researching. Forty one percent. My advance into Spanish uh, equatorial Guinea not going quite as well, but Uganda should be mine. Cruiser battle. The Colonel and a Prince Adalbert versus two Auroras. Now, my cruisers are a lot more expensive, but I wouldn't say they're that much better.
Southwest. Just slug it out. Regular crew, veterans of the Freya. My Pacific Squadron finally getting some uh, getting some action. Fire again. And there's the thumbnail. this yeah so you can still kind of see the enemy ships on the horizon that's pretty nice Firing HE. Yeah, the Bavaria with her massive 11 inch guns have been uh, doing most of the work. Should be getting Mark IV uh, nine-inch guns pretty soon, I think. So those are going to be a lot more uh, viable. Some good hits on the Aurora. Get some more accuracy here. So you have a pretty good broadside angle on the Aurora. Let's sink it first.
that should be the end of her. not you're not doing that fine turn that way then Five more months. Uh, will this be done in five months? I don't know. Probably not, but one can hope. pick up speed once their uh, losses start uh, mounting up. Yeah, they have no navy around here. Where is their navy? They got 31 ships left. But they're mostly, yeah, uh, elsewhere. So they're sending home a huge task force of um, uh, six battleships. Formidable class battleship. I wonder, is that one of my designs? I actually don't remember. Because it's now 1912. And I might have made some 1912 designs for them. I honestly do not remember. One hundred million. I can take the plus one unrest. It's fine. Sweden wants to buy a battleship. And I think that trade went through. Yes, it did. So now I'm spending some money building a battleship for Sweden. But I 
As long as I'm paid. It should be a yeah, 49% profit. It's gonna be worth it in the end. How's things going in Uganda? 51%. Four more months. See, I got my towers. I'm getting better 3-inch guns next turn. Uh, Anti-Flood 3. Torpedo Protection 3. Next month, I'm um, I'm gonna see if I can design a uh, a refit for some of my capital ships, where I give them better um, better towers, if possible. And I want to wait until next month so I can get some of the other uh, uh, stuff incorporated. So let's go. Submarine. Okay. Yeah, this fleet did not teleport home. That's very good. 60%. I'm actually invading South Africa. That's a um, pretty nice uh, province to have, actually. <clears throat> and they only have a tiny little army force of uh, 3,000. So let's see. What can we do? Vast Fordic Tower 6. Uh, that's still the best I have. Give them Citadel 3. TNT 2. And also Capitalistic 2. It's not really a uh, a huge important refit, but it's uh, it's something. The 
I didn't even add that much. Let's go 5 plus 5. And a 3 inch inner deck. Uh, that's gonna make them pretty tanky. And somehow did not go over the limit. Now, battle cruiser. Advanced Fordic Tower. Six. Yeah, it's still the best I have. Citadel three, that put it over the limit. can reduce the range a little bit. This is how you do it. Five plus five. And still some weight left over. Right. That's gonna make them a little bit more tanky. Yeah, it add, also adds more armor strength, less ammo detonation chance, uh, more resistance. So pretty much just good stuff. At the cost of weight though, which meant I had to reduce my range. But it's really only by what, 2500 kilometers. I think it's going to be okay. Sadly, no new capital ship towers actually available. At least not not for those hulls, but maybe uh, maybe in the future. And none of these can be refit; they're all at sea. Yeah, I thought I had battle cruisers in that uh, formation, but I don't. They're all in port. Most of my capacity is being taken up by building four new battleships. They're going to be ready in a year. And also two, uh, one for Mexico and one for Sweden. So what we're going to do, we're going to proceed to refit all of these. Uh, 
Danzig and Kiel. These can be suspended for now. And this one in Danzig also suspend. And one of the ones in Pilau. There we go. So I need the one in Tsingtao to be uh, kind of ready next month in case something happens. Uh, there are not really a lot of British ships in the area. Most of their navy is heading home through the Mediterranean. Which gives me an idea. Oh, we can only go this far. Fine, let's block, uh, let's block this. Yeah, it's going to be sailing through there. And let's move these two first to uh, to Emden. Then they can move from there and to the uh, the streets of Dover. Streets of Dover. The Strait of Dover. Streets of Dover. No, it's a submarine. It does not move on land. Hmm. Okay. Not really a lot of battles happening, but that's uh, <clears throat> that's on me, I guess, for just sinking most of the <laughs> enemy navy, except the part that is um, making its way home. Yeah, monthly balance is now plus fourteen million. That's pretty nice. Yeah, Mark 115s. Then I'm getting the Mark 4 9 inch, and then I think it's the Mark 3 14 inch. So, let's go to August. Don't sink any of my ships. You did not. Mexico wants to buy a couple of DDs. It's two more turns. I'm now also invading the Gold Coast. And this is the place I wished I was uh, invading, but no. That's up, not up to me. The, uh, the AI gets to decide that.
Let's also uh, prioritize naval communications just until I get the um, radio direction finder. Let's actually only prioritize that for a couple of turns. Uh, these can stay uh, suspended for now, actually. Because it will be a while before I need them. Move some DDs about. And some of these submarines, too, I guess. Just to help deal with the enemy submarines. Yeah, let's go. September. <clears throat> yes, that's very good. DD versus submarine. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. And they're still trying to, uh, like, do um, major offensives against me all over the place. 76%. 18% in one turn. It's pretty good. Submarine versus submarines. These fleets are going to be sailing straight through uh, my mine layer submarines. That will be fun. Uh, this will be done next turn. So that will be exciting to see what uh, what comes of it. Yeah, let's go uh, to October. I actually got Eastern England. Here we go. That's... That's a battle. One, two, three, four, five. Six Bulwark class battleships. Three Auroras, uh, some 1910, some baseline bul uh, bulwarks. Lots of DDs versus all four of my Hanover class battleships. Three heavy cruisers, three DDs. Uh, I was hoping they would um, take a lot of mine damage coming here. But I guess they technically haven't moved through the minefields yet. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, that's going to be in the next episode, because I think it's going to take a while. 
So uh, goodbye and take care.